why you couldn't hear me, could you? <laughs> my mic was muted. You were just seeing my mouth move. Can you guys hear me now? Please type in the little chat box and let me know that you can hear me. That would be awesome, awesome. Hello, hello. Looks like it's picking up my voice now. Can you guys hear me? Who's here? And can you hear me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Al. <laughs> Glad you can hear me. Yay, Alan Joan. Good to see you again. Woohoo! So for, for this practice, just so you know, probably, probably won't need any props per se unless you would like to have them handy. I won't be cueing using props. Um, so, so grab props if you would like them. Um, I always, always think a couple blocks are, are useful, um, especially for, for standing poses if you like to use those. Um, we aren't going to be doing any binds or anything like that, so strap if you would like it. But it'll be quick and fiery. So <laughs> yourself and your match will probably be okay. Should probably just be just fine. Looks like a few more of you are joining. Fantastic. Hello. Those of you I haven't heard from, I would love to hear from you. Who's here? If I haven't met you in person before, where are you from? Yay, Scott from Love Story. Fantastic. Good to see you. Really good to see you. Mm. I'd love to hear how you've all been, too, <laughs> in the couple minutes that we have. Yeah, so we're like, hi, Mary. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there too. It's getting pretty shaggy. <laughs> hey, Kristen. Good to see you. Yay. Thanks for joining. Mm, excited to be here with all of you. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, Scott. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. You just do what you can. Um, I took one of Jason Crandall's classes yesterday, and I um, I loved one thing that he said. It's like, now it's not a good time for us to be nitpicky with, with ourselves, right? Right. It's just, you know, do your practice, come to your mat, do your practice, do the best that you can. It's like, we all just need to show up and do the best that we can right now. Mm -hmm. And that's what's important. Hey, Donna. Yay! <laughs> um, just so you know what's coming up, um, we will probably wait about a minute after the official start time. Oh, Sarah, I miss you too. Hey, Laura! Yay! Back again, back for more. Um, just so you know what's coming up for this practice. We will be working up towards some back bends. It's going to be a continuous flow, working on some back bending shapes and plenty of other stuff too. Um, but we'll be working up toward some back bending shapes and flip dog, and, and we'll see we'll see where it goes.
Mm, awesome. A few more of you are joining. Yay. Good to be here with you. If I haven't heard from you, I would love to, and because I'm going to start in about a minute, I'd love to hear from you in the chat box. Just say hello and um, where you're from, where I know you from, or if I haven't met you, where you live. This is going to be fun. We're going to work some back bending shapes. Emily and Maria here again. Awesome. Woohoo. Good to have you again. From Chicago, Sharon. Awesome. Awesome. Wonderful to meet you. Hmm. <laughs> Fun. Yes. Yes, Al. <laughs> oh, Leanne. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to see you here. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. You can tell me if I'm not. Then, oh yeah, yeah, I know. I am teaching a live, um, live stream class at Love Story on Saturdays at 11. So you could, um, you could check that out. We're working on handstand this month. So then um, check out Love Story O's website. I would love to have you in that tomorrow. Okay, I'm, I'm pronouncing it correctly. Thanks, Leanne. All right, well, we have a lot of ground to cover and a very short amount of time, so let's get started. Well, I'll start at the, the top of our mats, so I'll come to the top of my mat, you do the same, and let's get rolling. All right, welcome all. This is a 30 minute kind of continuous flow working up towards some back bends and flip dog. Come to the top of your mat, bring your feet and legs all the way together and stand tall. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. One more deep breath like that, inhale and exhale. Half Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head, reach up and stretch up. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold back down over your legs again. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides, stand tall, Tadasana. Full Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, lift your arms up, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step or hop back, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, curl your chest up, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And take one more inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. And exhale, lower your arms down by your sides, stand tall. Stretch your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers and release your index fingers. Then tip your torso to your right for a side bend. One more breath here. Inhale, come back up through center, tip your torso to your left for a standing side bend. Inhale, come all the way back up through center, and then draw your gaze up towards your thumbs, reach up and do a slight back bend. And keep your legs strong, your pelvis in the same position, keep your abdominal muscles strong. Inhale, come back up through center. Then from here, exhale, place your hands on your hips and bring your right thigh up in toward your chest. Mm -hmm. That's it. Then keep your right leg up, and then simply draw your right thigh off to your right. Mm -hmm. And then draw your right leg back forward. Keep your right leg up and then bring it back behind you. Hug your right heel towards your right hip, doing a little bit of a hamstring curl. We'll pause here for a moment so you can feel the muscles on the back of your right thigh engage. Then take your right hand to your right foot, hug your right heel in towards your right hip for a little quad stretch. You might even swivel your fingers in the direction of your toes like Bekasana. Uh-huh. 
Now, here's the tricky part. Slowly release and come back into that hamstring curl, keeping your right leg up on its own. Bring your palms to the center of your chest and come into warrior three. Stretch back through your toes on your right foot. Inhale deeply here. Then exhale, place your hands down onto the floor and come into standing split. Or Vipressar to Ekapadasana. If you want to deepen the stretch, walk your hands in, fold your face in. Then walk your hands back forward and a couple hops up toward handstand. Doesn't have to be very big. It doesn't even have to be near handstand. Uh-huh. You just come to the degree that you would like to in this moment. Hops are energizing. And then through vinyasa or straight to downward facing dog. Mm-hmm. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling, three-legged down dog. Yes, left leg. Exhale, place your left foot all the way up between your hands and come up into warrior one. Spin your right heel in and down. Lift your torso up. Either keep your gaze straight forward or draw your gaze up and join your palms. Anchor through your right heel. Stretch up to your fingertips. And take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, place your hands down onto the floor. Swoop your left leg through and up to three-legged down dog. Stack your left hip on top of your right and bend your left knee. Okay, straighten your left leg, square your hips. Draw your left foot all the way down to the floor. Bring your feet and legs all the way together to touch. Then look up between your hands. Shift forward about two-thirds of the way so that your shoulders are just behind your wrists. Spin to the outer edge of your right foot, stack your left foot on top. Press down and forward with your right hand and stretch your left arm up and coming into Vashistasana. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. One more inhale, reach up. Then exhale, place your left hand down onto the floor, either straight to down dog or vinyasa to downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall, Tadasana. Again, stretch your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Tip your torso to your right and come into a standing side bend. Inhale, come back up through center and tip your torso to your left, coming into a standing side bend on the second side. Inhale, come back up through center and look up towards your thumbs and do a little back bend. Your legs strong, your abdominal muscles strong. Good. And then bring your torso back up to center. And exhale, bring your hands to your hips. And bring your left side in toward your chest. Good. And then draw your left leg out to your left. Fantastic. Draw your left leg back forward and bring your left leg back behind you. Hug your heel in toward your buttocks. Pause for a moment, increasing the engagement of your hamstrings on the back of your left side. If you feel quivering, that's good. And clasp your left foot and maybe hug in for quad stretch. And however you can, but if you can come into big cost in that position with your arms, swiveling your fingers, the direction of your toes, do that. Now, as you release the quad stretch, slowly release it so you can come back into the hamstring curl. Yes, yes, yes. Bring your palms to the center of your chest and come into warrior three. That's it. And then into standing split. Either keep your hands in front of your toes or fold in a little bit deeper for a deeper stretch. Walk your hands forward and option for a couple hops up toward handstand, right? And know that you don't have to come anywhere near handstand here. Even if you're just hopping, it's gonna be energizing. And either straight to down dog or through vinyasa. <laughs> and to downward facing dog. All right, inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your right foot all the way up between your hands and come up into warrior one. Mm -hmm. Either keep your gaze forward or draw your gaze up and join your palms. Anchor through your left heel. Stretch from your left heel all the way up to your fingertips. One more inhale here. Reach up. And exhale. Place your hands down onto the floor. Spin your left heel up. Swoop your right leg through and up. And stack your right hip on top of your left and bend your right knee. 
and stretch in wild thing. Well, in hydrant dog, <laughs> we're eventually working towards lip dog or wild thing. Stretch your right leg straight. Bring your right foot all the way down to the floor. Bring your feet and legs all the way together for Vashistasana. Look up between your hands. Shift forward two thirds of the way. Spin to the outer edge of your left foot. Stack your right foot on top. Press down and forward with your left hand to stretch your right arm up. And take another couple breaths. One more inhale here, reach up. On your exhale, place your right hand down onto the floor and either vinyasa or straight to down dog. Your choice. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides, stand tall, Tadasana. Inhale, stretch your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Tip your torso to your right, standing side bend. Inhale, come back up to your center, tip your torso to your left for standing side bend. Then inhale, come back up through center, and start to lean back a little bit. A little bit of a standing back bend. Inhale, come back up through center. Then exhale, this time bring your right thigh up, your left hand to your left hip, and your right hand to your right big toe. Stretch your right leg forward just as far as you can. Doesn't have to get all the way straight. And then stretch your right arm and right leg out to your right for a moment. Yeah, yeah. And then stretch your right arm and right leg back forward. Okay. And then slowly release the clasp on your right big toe. Point your right foot. Keep your right leg up for five, four, three, two, one. And then calmly swoop your right leg through and into the quad stretch position. Or not quad stretch. <laughs> Hamstring activation position. Hamstring curl. Now reach back with your right hand and clasp the outer edge of your foot. Right foot, stretch your left arm forward for Nattarajasan. Keep your chest mostly upright for this form and kick back and up. Keep on lifting your chest, your sternum up. Try to draw your right thigh up until it's parallel to the floor. Stretch forward with your left arm, kick back with your right foot. Kick back, stretch forward, kick back, stretch forward. One more time, kick back and stretch forward. Now release really slowly, really slowly, really slowly. Come back into the hamstring curl. Bring your palms to the center of your chest. Yeah, okay. And then come into warrior three position. And into standing split. Fold down over your left leg. Fold and fold and fold in. Walk your hands back forward. And then a couple hops up toward handstand. I encourage you to at least hop a little bit, right? It doesn't have to be anywhere near handstand. Mm -hmm. It's just more of an energizing transition. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Either make your way there or come through vinyasa. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling, three legged down dog. Exhale, place your left foot all the way up between your hands and come up into warrior one. Either keep your gaze forward or draw your gaze up and join your palms. Anchor it through your right heel and stretch all the way up to your fingertips. One more inhale here. And on your exhale, place your hands down onto the floor. And then swoop your left leg through and up to three-legged down dog. Stack your left hip on top of your right and bend your left knee for hydrant dog. Mm -hmm. Or twisted dog, whatever you want to call it. And straighten your left leg. Square your hips. Draw your left foot all the way up between your hands again. Come up into crescent lunge. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Bend your right knee lower down and hover, and inhale, straighten. Two more times, bend your right knee lower and hover, and inhale, straighten. And last time, lower and hover, and inhale, straighten. Now, this time, come all the way down, touch down softly, point your right foot, strengthen your legs, maybe bend your left knee a little deeper, look up towards your thumbs and lean back a little. Come into Anjaneyasana. And tone your belly more to lift your torso back up. Fantastic. Place your hands down onto the floor. And then step back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Point your feet. 
Interlace your fingers behind your back and come up into Shalabhasana. Locust pose. Bring your legs hip width distance apart. Stretch back to your toes and stretch back to your knuckles. One more inhale here. Then keep your legs and chest up. Place your palms underneath your shoulders. Press down and forward and rock back to come into high cobra. One more inhale. And keep your legs and chest strong as you lower your chest back down. Bend your knees, point your toes up, reach back, clasp the outer edges of your feet, kick back and kick up. Come into Dhanurasana. Hug your inner thighs in. Kick back, kick up, broaden through your chest. Fantastic. Bring your thighs all the way down to the floor. Place your palms underneath your shoulders, curl your toes under, inhale. Exhale, press down, come up plank, inhale here. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Bring your feet and legs all the way together for Vashistasana. This time, the top leg, you can bring it into, um, into, one of, uh, into a variation that I'll talk you through. Look up between your hands, shift forward two thirds of the way. Spin to the outer edge of your right foot, stack your left foot on top. Press down and forward with your right hand and stretch your left arm up. Then bring your left arm along your side. Lift your left foot off of your right. Bend your left knee, hugging your left heel in towards your left buttock. All right? You can even reach back with your left hand and clasp the outer edge of your foot, kind of like Natarajasana on the side. It's called baby Kapinjalasana. Good. And then slowly release, stack it up. Bring your left hand down, either straight to down dog or vinyasa to downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall. Inhale, stretch your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Tip your torso to your right for standing side bend. Inhale, come back up to center. Tip your torso to your left for a standing side bend. Inhale, come back up to center. And then look up towards your thumbs, lean back a little. Standing back bend. Inhale, come back up to center. And exhale, this time bring your left thigh up into your chest, your right hands to your right hip. Reach down, clasp your left big toe. Stretch your left leg forward. Take a breath here. And draw your left arm and left leg out to your left. There we are. And draw your left arm and left leg back forward. Calmly release the clasp on your left big toe. Point your left foot and keep it up for five, four, three, Two, one, swoop your left leg down and through and come into that hamstring curl. Oh yeah. And once we've started to feel the hamstrings, okay, it'll give them some relief. Clasp the outer edge of your left foot with your left hand. This time stretch your right arm forward. Not the adjust and kick back and up. And lifting your chest up, make this mostly upright. Lift your chest, your sternum up, kick back and up, and draw your left thigh up toward parallel to the floor. That's it. Good, kick back, stretch forward, kick back, stretch forward, and then slowly, slowly make your way up and come back into the hamstring curl. Bring your palms to the center of your chest, and then come forward and stretch your left leg straight, coming into warrior three. Roll your hands down to the floor, coming into standing split. Walk your hands back forward, and a couple hops up toward handstand, okay? Hopping doesn't mean that you have to come anywhere near handstand. It just means that it's an energizing hopping transition. Mm -hmm. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. So begin to make your way there, either straight to down dog or through vinyasa. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling, three-legged down dog. Exhale, place your right foot all the way between your hands and come up into warrior one. Either keep your gaze forward or draw your gaze up and join your palms. Anchor through your left heel and stretch from your left heel all the way up to your fingertips. One more inhale, reach up. And exhale, place your hands down onto the floor. Spin your left heel up, swoop your right leg through and up, three-legged down dog. Stack your right hip on top of your left and bend your right knee. Red twisted dog, spent knee. 
We'll take this further in a little bit. For now, straighten your right leg, square your hips, draw your right foot all the way up between your hands, and come up into crescent lunge. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Bend your left knee lower down and hover, and inhale, straighten. And bend your left knee lower, hover, inhale, straighten. Last time, bend lower and hover, and inhale, straighten. Then lower all the way down, touch down softly, point your left foot and strengthen your legs. Maybe bend your right knee a little deeper. Look up toward your thumbs and lean back a little. Come into Anjaneyasana. And tone your belly to lift your torso all the way back up. Exhale, place your hands down onto the floor. Step back, plank, inhale here. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly with control and point your feet. And interlace your fingers behind your back and come up into Shalabhasana. Stretch back to your knuckles and stretch back to your toes. Now keep this back bend shape. Place your palms underneath your shoulders. Press down and forward and rock back until the tops of your feet touch the floor. Lift your chest up, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower your chest back down. Bend your knees, point your toes up. Reach back, clasp the outer edges of your feet. Kick back and up, Dhanurasana. Bow pose. Hug your inner thighs in. Broaden through the front of your chest. There we go. And then lower your chest back down. Place your palms underneath your shoulders. Straighten your legs, curl your toes under. Inhale. Exhale, press down, come up plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukha. Now bring your feet and legs all the way together for Vashistasana. Look up towards your hands, shift forward two thirds of the way so your shoulders are just behind your wrists. Spin to the outer edge of your left foot, stack your right foot on top. Press down and forward with your left hand and stretch your right arm up. And for baby Kapindalasana, take your right arm along your right side, lift your right foot up, bend your right knee, the hamstring curl, reach back and clasp the outer edge of your right foot and kick back. Take another moment here. And then slowly release, stack your legs up. Bring your right hand down, either straight to down dog or vinyasa to downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdha Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides, stand tall, Tadasana. Now, at the top of your mat, place your hands, stretch your arms up, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. We'll continue with that. Tip your torso to your right. Standing side bend. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, tip your torso to your left. Inhale, come back up through center. Look up towards your thumbs, little standing back bend. Staying strong. Inhale, come back up through center. Lift your right thigh up. Bring your left hand to your left hip, and then clasp the inner edge of your right foot. I'm going to turn to face you so that you can, well, actually, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to turn around so you can see me for this one. Draw your right knee out to the side and come straight to the side this time. So skip the leg forward, come straight to the side. Then you can either release the clasp to come into position for Natarajasana, or you can keep the clasp. My arm will go behind my leg, my thigh in front, and then I'll flip my, my, um, <laughs> my clasp to the outer edge, stretch your left arm forward, kick back and up. Natarajasana. Okay, now here's the tricky part. Come back in, regain the clasp on your right big toe, bring your right leg back out to the side. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then draw your right leg back forward. Slowly release the clasp, but I'm gonna turn myself around. <laughs> Slowly release the clasp, point your right foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Swoop your right leg through and up, come into the hamstring curl, bring your palms to the center of your chest, and then come into warrior three and a standing split, fold in. Walk your hands back forward and a couple hops up toward handstand. Mm -hmm. And get there, get what you can and either straight to down dog or vinyasa, to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling, three-legged down dog. Exhale, place your left foot up between your hands 
And again, come up into warrior one, just as we've been doing. Either gaze forward or draw your gaze up and join your palms. Take one more inhale here, reach up. Then exhale, place your hands down onto the floor. Swoop your left leg through and up to three-legged down dog. Stack your left hip on top of your right and bend your left knee. Now this time around, listen carefully. You can stay here or you can flip your dog. Look up between your hands and shift forward like you're going to come into Vashi Stas and bring your shoulders just behind your wrists. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Now it's very important that you keep your right shoulder, your right arm, just like side plank. Keep it strong. It protects your shoulder. Spin to the outer edge of your right foot. Turn your hips and chest up. Look up. And bring your feet more or less parallel to one another. Stretch your left arm up and over. If you know the transition into Urdhva Dhanurasana from here, you may take it. But you know how to have to know how to come back around. <laughs> and then come back around, right? From flip dog, lift your left leg up, three-legged down dog, however you so choose. Yeah, man. And then draw your left foot all the way between your hands. Come up into crescent lunge. Bend your right knee, lower down, and hover. And inhale, straighten. And bend your right knee, lower down, and hover. And inhale, straighten. And one more time, bend and lower. And inhale, straighten. Lower all the way down, point your right foot and come into Anjaneyasana. Maybe lean back, stretch back. Well, tone your belly to lift your torso all the way back up. Place your hands on the floor. Step back, plank, and lower all the way down to your belly. Point your feet, interlace your fingers behind your back and come up into Shalabhasana. Mm -hmm. Keep your legs and chest up. Place your palms underneath your shoulders and rock back into Bhujangasana, Cobra. Your legs and abdomen strong, lower your chest down, bend your knees. Reach back, clasp the outer edges of your feet and come into Danyarasan. Good. Then lower your thighs down, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Straighten your legs, inhale. Exhale, press down, come up plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Adha Svanasana. Inhale deeply. Exhale, lower your knees down to the floor and sit back on your heels. So I wanna show this to you once to, to give you some options here. Um, know that we'll only do one side and then we'll cycle through the other side and then do the second side for Vashistasana. Now, your options here, option one, Vashistasana. Oh, we're gonna be doing this side first. Okay, but I'm gonna show you on the left side. No, we'll do the right side. Option one is what we just did. Option two, You'll bring the top leg into top leg extended. Option three, bring the top leg extended, bend your knee, clasp the outer edge of your foot, come into Kapindalasana, and then try to come back up and stack. Okay? So choose one of those. It's like whichever one sounds like the most fun and come into downward facing dog. Bring your feet and legs all the way together to touch. Look up between your hands, shift forward two thirds of the way. Spin to the outer edge of your right foot, stack your left foot on top. Press down and forward with your right hand, stretch your left arm up. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. And I'll leave this up to you for the fancy transition between the two variations. I'll talk you through it. Bend your left knee up toward the ceiling. Reach down, clasp your left big toe. Stretch your left leg up. Top leg extended, Vashistasana. Now, very important here, if you're not releasing the clasp to make the transition, your knee has to come forward, your arm back. Then clasp the outer edge of your foot and kick back. Uh-huh. And then try to come back around. This is the hardest piece. Wow. <laughs> Lift your hips back up and then stack again. Either straight to down dog or through vinyasa to downward facing dog. Uh. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, turn your palms, reach up. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides. Okay, last piece. Interlace your fingers above your head, tip your torso to your right, standing side bend. Inhale, come back up through center. Tip your torso to your left. Inhale, come back up through center. 
Draw your gaze up towards your thumbs and lean back a little. Uh -huh. Inhale, come back up towards center. And then from here, place your hands on your hips. Lift your left side up. Reach your left arm inside your left side. Clasp your big toe. Bring it straight to the side. So draw your left knee out to the side. Stretch your left leg out to the side. And just like we did before, again, think thigh forward, arm back. Then clasp the outer edge of your foot. Stretch your right arm forward. And come into Natarajasana, dancer pose. Yeah. And then bend your left knee again. Regain the clasp on your big toe. And bring your left leg back out to the side. <laughs> then draw your left arm and left leg back forward. Slowly release the clasp and point your left foot. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Swoop through and back into our hamstring curl. Bring your palms to the center of your chest and come into warrior three. And then into standing split, fold. Walk your hands back forward. Either come straight through vinyasa, a couple hops up toward handstand. All right, encourage you, it's like, unless you're really tired, <laughs> come do a couple hops. And we'll meet in downward facing dog, begin to make your way there, if you haven't already. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling, three-legged down dog. Exhale, place your right foot up between your hands and come up into warrior one. Either keep your gaze forward or draw your gaze up and join your palms. Anchor through your left heel, stretch up to your fingertips. Take one more, inhale, reach up. And exhale, place your hands down onto the floor. Swoop your right leg through and up. Stack your right hip on top of your left and bend your right knee. Okay, again. We've come to our flip dog transition. Look up between your hands. Shift forward two thirds of the way, just like your prep for Vashistasan. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Really keep your left arm strong like Vashistasana. And then spin to the outer edge of your left foot. Bring your right foot down. Turn your chest and hips up. Stretch your right arm up and over. And try to bring your legs, your feet in line with one another. And if you know the transition to Urdhva Dhanurasana from here, you may take it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk you through it today. And then from wherever you are, come up and around. Bring your right arm up and around. Lift your right leg up into three-legged down dog. Exhale, place your right foot all the way between your hands and come up into crescent lunge. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Bend your left knee, lower down and hover. And inhale, straighten. And bend, lower and hover. And inhale, straighten. And last time, bend, lower, hover. Inhale, straighten, lower all the way down. Point your left foot. Then come into perhaps a little back bend. Anjaneyasan. Tone your belly to lift your torso all the way back up. Then place your hands down onto the floor. Step back, plank, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Point your feet. Interlace your fingers behind your back. And come up into Shalabhasana. There. Good. Keep your legs and chest up. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Rock back and up into Bhujangasana. Keep your legs and abdomen strong, lower your chest down, bend your knees, point your toes up, clasp the outer edges of your feet, kick back and up, down your asana. And then lower all the way down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, curl your toes under, inhale. Exhale, press down, come up plank, inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, last hurrah, everyone. Bring your feet and legs all the way together. Look up between your hands. Shift forward two thirds of the way. And then spin to the outer edge of your left foot, stack your right foot on top, come into Vashistasana. Keep your arms strong. Either stay here or bend your right knee up toward the ceiling, reach down, clasp your right big toe, stretch your right leg up. Okay. Remember the variations on the first side, those are fair game. I'm doing the last one. With your leg up, then start to bend your right knee, draw your right arm behind your right thigh, then clasp the outer edge of your right foot and kick back. And then regain the clasp on your right big toe, arm behind, side forward, stretch your right leg back up, put your hips back up, and then stack again. Bring your right hand down, either straight to down dog or vinyasa to downward facing dog. Ugh. Okay, inhale deeply. Exhale, lower your knees down to the floor and come into child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Let that settle. Okay. 
and walk your hands just in front of your knees, press down to sit up and shift your hips just off to your left side. Keep your left leg as it is and bring your right foot to the outer edge of your left thigh. Then start by wrapping your left forearm on your outer right thigh. Either stay here or hook your arm for Ardha Matsyandrasana. Inhale, come back through center and switch sides. Bring your right leg across your body and then bring your left foot to your outer right thigh. And start by wrapping your right forearm on your outer thigh, either stay here, or you can hook your arm on your outer thigh. And then slowly come back to center and cross your shins in a simple position. Press your hands on your thighs and close your eyes. Let's take a couple more breaths together. Inhale deeply. This time, open up your mouth and exhale audibly. One more time. Inhale deeply. Exhale audibly. You might stay here for seated meditation for a while, or you can lie down and take a Shavasana and do what you have the time for, but this is where we'll end. Namaste. All right. Thanks, everyone. Also, I did put a couple of recordings of chants up on YouTube. I'm working on the sound for that. Um, I'm going to get some more up there. Um, and uh, so that you can use those for your Shavasana as well. We did go a little bit over today, so I'm working on pacing and figuring out these half hour classes, um, but this is so much fun all. Thank you so, so very much for being here. Um, I, I definitely feel your presence. You are, um, you inspire me. You coming to my mat to be with you inspires me. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna be offering these, these half hour practices on Fridays for the foreseeable future. Um, they're always gonna be free. Um, I'm probably gonna be launching some 60 minute practices on my YouTube channel as well that will be either, it's like, be free for those who can't pay, but it will also be donation-based, and I'll kind of give you some information about how to donate and when those are going to launch. So thanks all. I, I love you. Please stay safe and healthy, and um, I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Bye-bye for now. Thanks all. Love you.